Hi everyone, my name is Tom Merrigan. I'm a biomedical engineering major and I am team lead. Hello everyone, my name is Sebastian Magri. I'm an optical engineering major and I am secondary team lead. Hi, I'm Susan Burrell. I'm a biomedical engineering major and I'm the team procurement lead. Hi, I'm Vaishnavi Narayanan. I'm an electrical and computer engineering major. I'm in the software and electronics lead. Hi, I'm Nathan Kaku. Uh, I'm a mechanical engineering major and I'm the team's mechanical lead. Hi, I'm Jesus Siqueiros. I am a biomedical engineering major and the secondary mechanical lead. And we are Team 71. Our project is centered on creating a mechanical apparatus for automated ultrasound imaging of plantar foot arch structures. Our journey began with insightful conversations with orthopedic surgeon Dr. Daniel Latt and medical student Pierre Nicolich, both of whom provided the spark for this project. My interest is in the role that the uh, ligament degeneration plays in leading to degeneration of the arch and particularly interested in whether there are uh, early warning signs uh, that an arch is about to start collapsing. Uh, ultrasound scanner uh, would be the first of its kind and might potentially revolutionize foot and ankle practice. Yeah, I think it has a great potential to change um, how we uh, how we diagnose and um, make treatment making decisions. Motivated by the challenge, our team set out to engineer a system capable of scanning the plantar foot arch structures with consistency and accuracy. Our goal was to enhance existing ultrasound technology accommodating a variety of different patients. Traditional B-mode imaging, the same type used in pregnancy scans, allows it represent a significant leap forward in patient care and diagnostic accuracy. Because the system is used in a biomedical setting, there are specific and imperative requirements that must be met to ensure the system's feasibility. The requirements can be broken down into four broad categories, environmental, interfacing, performance, and safety. Environmental requirements deal with the physical nature of the system, including its size, portability, and probe integration. Interfacing requirements cover how a clinician interacts with the system, specifically through an easy-to-use matrix keypad and GUI. Performance requirements are met with high-quality ultrasound imagery, autonomous operation, and adaptability to different foot sizes. Upholding the highest safety standards, our system features CDC-compliant antimicrobial services, as well as ADA-compliant design elements like step sizes and support railings, ensuring a secure and risk-free patient experience during ultrasound procedures. Our mechanical system, including our 2D linear array system in the accompanying enclosure, went through several iterations as we made specific design decisions that positively impacted our final product. Some of the most important decisions we made include switching to a single aperture, constructing the enclosure out of standard furniture MDF instead of expensive oak wood, using store-bought railings, and simplifying our transportation system from a dolly to attaching wheels directly to the mechanical frame. The software component of this project was essentially split into two parts, one being the Arduino microcontroller that's responsible for the physical movement of the ultrasound probe using a 2D linear array system and predetermined scan paths based on foot size. The other software component consists of MATLAB scripts that control the operation of the ultrasound transceiver and recording. A coupling medium provides the interface between the tissue and the probe to transmit waves and also provides a specific level of attenuation to most effectively image superficial structures close to the surface of the foot. Picking the right coupling medium between the foot and the ultrasound probe was an essential task, while the material needed to be durable and reusable while also still producing quality images. After considering and testing a variety of different mediums, we hit the jackpot with Gelatin Zero an effective medium we decided to mold into varied arch sizes and heights depending on the foot. To ensure that our deliverables fulfilled our project scope and met all system requirements, we ran a myriad of verification tests to ensure that our final product met requirements. Listed here is the full range of testing that occurred. Two critical tests we highlight are the weight verification test and 2 DLAS scan path test. System success depends on its ability to support patient weight. Therefore, it was our utmost priority to build a robust system. To ensure this, we had two team members stand on the system for 20 minutes. The mechanical frame effortlessly withstood the weight, with no hint of bending or damage. Successful movement of the 2 LAS was integral to this project as this directly fulfills the goal of creating an automated ultrasound scan of the foot. By verifying 2D LAS movement, we were able to confirm that our system could autonomously move the probe through specific scan paths and patterns. 
yielding ultrasound images without the need for a clinician manually performing any of the work. The video files we obtain from the ultrasound scans can be accessed at any time by the physician on their provided system. As can be seen, the images taken during an automated scan using our system are comparable to those taken manually by our traditional methods. Target foot structures are identified by a clinician via the same video files on their ultrasound platform. Here is a quick look at the physician and patient perspectives during an orthopedic ultrasound scan. All right, are you ready for your foot scan today? I am ready, yes. All right, so first we're going to have you step up here on these two plates to do a quick weight measurement. Okay. Pretty slim, I see. Good, good, good. All right, so now, if I may ask you, what, what's your foot size approximately? Uh, approximately a 10. All right, just move this back. Here you go, if you could put your right foot, lean back on this, forward on that. That's gonna be your right foot scan. All right. Go ahead and move back into position. I'm gonna do a left foot scan now. All right, great, okay. This is the GUI that the clinician will see during the scanning process. Once the scan is complete, the physician will be able to save a video file containing the entirety of the ultrasound scan. From there, the physician can easily access the saved video file from their directory. This is our project poster, which begins by outlining the background of B-mode ultrasound imaging, detailing our objectives, and explaining the methods we employ to achieve them. The star of the show is the finalized design, and this is highlighted in the middle, showing our completed deliverables. Finally, our results, conclusion, and invaluable sponsors and references are listed below. We've demonstrated successful operation of our automated system for efficient and effective scanning of the foot for orth orthopedic diagnostics and analysis, removing the need for manual scanning by a healthcare professional and producing high quality images that can be assessed in a medical capacity. With this system, orthopedic clinics and hospitals everywhere will gain the ability for even more efficient and effective foot health diagnosis and treatment. And we are incredibly proud to have landed this project on two feet.